Are you tired of the frustrations caused by uploading flat files to Amazon? Or maybe you've gotten a ton of errors, but you're not sure what they mean. Maybe you're on the fourth upload to get a flat file right and you feel helpless because you don't know what to do. Maybe you just started working on flat files and you're not sure where to begin. If that's you, then stick around for a few moments so I can show you how to resolve your flat file errors using a simple spreadsheet to upload and quickly make changes to your products on Amazon. Welcome back to Sunken Stone YouTube channel, where we offer tips, tricks, and tutorials to improve your e-commerce strategy, growth, and operations every week, so be sure to subscribe. Just click the red subscribe button right below or click on our channel page to see more videos. I'm Edgar Garcia from Sunken Stone, and today I'm gonna to show you the types of errors you may encounter when uploading flat files on Amazon and how to prevent them from occurring in the future. Does this sound familiar? You've decided to create or modify your listings on Amazon and you're dreading making the changes. First, you have to log in to Seller Central, and then you have to make all the changes and hopefully you didn't make a mistake. You're not sure exactly where to begin, and you're not sure how long it will take to make the edits. All you know is it's time consuming and confusing. Fortunately, there's a solution for Amazon FBA and FBM sellers like yourself. It's called Flat File Pro. It's the most powerful Amazon listing backup software on the market that uses nightly backups, one-click restores, and allows for bulk editing of listings without the use of flat files. So if you go to seller support and you go to help, there is a section where you can just um, search for error codes. You can go ahead and just search that here and it'll show up all of the possible error codes that you can get on flat files. Um, when you just run into one, I recommend you just put in the error code here and then um, you can see an explanation on that error code and possible ways to fix it. And I'm going to walk you guys through a couple on how to fix them. So the first way to ident actually identify any errors that you receive is you go on to your inventory, add products via upload, and then you go to monitor upload status. And then here you can actually see all the flat files that you've uploaded and you can actually download processing reports to see if you've received any errors. So if you can see here, we have actually have error code 8541. So then um, this processing report gives you the SKU and the the marketplace and then the error code and an explanation on the error code. So we're going to go through a couple. So one of the most um, common errors that I see sellers run into is Amazon error 8026. And this error is not authorized to list products in a category. So sometimes certain brands or ASINs or even categories um, require approval for you to start selling on Amazon. So then that's when you will receive this error code. So let's go ahead and look at an example. In order to be able to sell these products, you either have to apply to sell or request approval. When you search for these products, um, let me just show you how, walk you through how to go to the screen, add a product. Say I wanted to sell these restricted items. Select the condition. And then you would either see an apply to sell or a request approval button. So what you have to do is just select this and then you click select approval or request approval. And then what Amazon will do is they will ask you for a few documents. Um, they'll ask you for invoices of where you receive the product or where you purchased them from. And they might ask you for uh, permission from the actual uh, brand to sell this, these products. Um, so that's pretty much how you get approval for uh, if you do get error number 8026. The next common error is Amazon error 90117. Product description exceeds the character limit. So Amazon actually has character limits to product name, description, features, brand name, model name, uh, model number, and manufacturer part number. And you can see these limits right here. And it's actually very easy to fix that. Let's say we got title name and product description uh, they exceeded the limit on those two. Um, so pretty easy to fix that. You just go to, you just find these columns. So for product name, we'll just go here, make sure we adjust it to, you know, under, I believe it's 200 characters. So let's say we needed to remove this in order to make it fit and it's fine. And then the next one, we go to product description and we just fix that, make sure it's under 500 characters. So let's say we just needed to remove these last few words in order to fix it. 
and that's it just make sure it's under the limit and then you can go ahead and just re-upload the file and everything should work perfectly the next common error is amazon error 8016 not enough product data to create a, a variation relationship um, so pretty much what this is, this is for um, an error regarding variations. Let's walk you guys through how to fix this. So in order to fix this, we want to go to the variation section. So this section here, and we need to kind of troubleshoot and figure out why it's not um, creating a variation. So if you see here, this skew here is the parent for all of these variations. And we see here that this one is actually has a different variation theme. Now variation theme is the, the theme that you want to set your variation on. So for example, this one is size name, which is a customizable uh, name for the, the package size. So you see here, this one actually has size name and color name. So what we're, we're, we're going to want to do is we're going to set this to size name, which is um, the variation theme of the parent. So all the variations need to match the, the variation theme of the parent. Just make sure it has the skew of the parent you want to um, add the variation under. You see here, it's all good. Another thing we're going to want to check is the actual size name um, and what we have filled out there and make sure they're all filled out. So an easy way to, to look for it is just searching for here on Excel. And then you see here size name so you see this one is actually missing a size name um, so that's probably another reason why I got the error so all we have to do is just update this with a, a size name and that's it I got to do is save and then just go to seller central and upload and this should be fixed another common error is Amazon error 8560 missing required attributes and this can um, possibly happen when there's an invalid value for a specific attribute. So um, I showed you earlier in the video how the flat file actually on some um, attributes, it takes specific values or if a required um, field is missing. So for example, if like the product ID, the SKU is missing or the product ID does not match any ASINs, this is when you're uploading um, the flat file with uh, the product ID type as ASIN and you either submit a wrong ASIN or it's not on Amazon's catalog. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and just walk you through how to fix that. So, um, we, as I mentioned earlier, it's either that a required field is missing, the product ID, or an invalid value was used. So if you see here, this one's actually missing a product ID. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add the product ID. And in this case, we're adding the UPC. And then that should fix this issue. Let's see if there's any more um, errors. So if you see here, this is um, condition type. What was put here is brand new. But if you see here in actually, let me show you the valid values. So for condition. You see here, here are the different types of acceptable values. So new or new EOM, OEM. So we're going to go here and we're going to, we can just copy the one on top and add new. And this should fix um, the error code where uh, invalid value was, was added. So I'm actually going to walk you guys through um, one of the uncommon errors um, that we run into, and that's Amazon error. 8541, 8542, and this is a product ID matching error. Um, and this usually happens when the product ID you provide um, corresponds to one or more ASINs in the Amazon catalog. Or um, if like, let's say the title, brand or color does not match the, the data that's already in Amazon's catalog. Because usually there's a one to one relationship between product IDs and ASINs and a Amazon only allows one ASIN per product page. Um, so you just have to make sure that you use the correct um, product ID if you're either using UPC or, or the EAN or the ASIN. In order to fix this, um, it's kind of a pain. 
let's say you put the right UPC or ASIN and it's just not accepting. Usually in this case, what, what needs to be done is you need to contact Amazon support and provide them the product ID, the product ID type, the product title, the brand manufacturer, um, pretty much all of the um, required information in your case. And um, you just have to wait for Amazon to get back to you. And sometimes they'll request um, some more information. And that is like manufacturer's papers or um, if you have um, any like invoices or sometimes they might actually request a product uh, image of the product on a plain table. And this is just to verify they actually carry the product or that you are actually the owner of the brand. Click the link below and sign up for Flat File Pro today. You're going to receive a free trial so you can test it out and start saving your data nightly after registering. You're going to be able to self onboard or meet with one of our onboarding specialists who's going to walk you through how the tool works. Take a moment, click the link below and finally put an end to inefficient processes, time wasting tactics, flat file hell and start enjoying watching your business on Amazon grow. So what's the next step? Well, if you really want to cut down on the time it takes to manage your Amazon listings, check out this video on flat file pro. We will learn how the software makes managing listings a breeze with bulk editing, one click restores and nightly backups. What's not to love. And if you really want to level up your knowledge on flat files, then watch this video next. It's called how to use the category listing reports on Amazon in 2022. And you'll learn insider secrets from me and CEO Adam Wheeler on everything you need to know about category listing reports in 2022. Just click on the video you see on your screen. Now I'm Edgar Garcia and I'll see you there.